Amazon. You can buy on Amazon. You can buy anything on Amazon, bro. No, you can get on Amazon. There's blackface on the label, dude. Dude, check it out. No, no. This is wild. Oh, there is. Welcome back to another episode of Careful Boys. Today we have Mr. Tesh with us. Oh, hello, Tesh. Hello, Tesh. All right, here's the question. Oh, okay, um, good. I'll try to say some other mojo. Bullshit. No, later there's a top ten martial arts of all time. Uh oh, this is gonna get there's, heated. Um, okay, my question is: Are there any <laughs> cultural household differences that we have that are really deep cuts? Like for me, I would say this is this is my example. <clears throat> okay. So in Filipino houses, I don't know if they still do this. But if you go to a Filipino house, you go to the bathroom. Sometimes mm -hmm. on top of the toilet, you're gonna see a cup. cup. Yeah, and then sometimes it's like a big gulp cup from 7-Eleven. No, sometimes it's like a pail with a hand. Is that a bidet cup? Yeah, I love yeah. drinking out of it. It's a bidet cup. We, we call it a tabo. Tabo, yeah. I don't know if they still call it that or whatever, but um, that's what that cup is for. It's for splashing your ass. So what do they? How do they do it? What's the style? You uh, you oh, fill it with water. No, I could show you. And then you no, literally just it. pour it down your crack. <laughs> and every, oh wait, you, every household you, has you a pour like cup. this? Yeah. Do you and do then, a front pour or back pour? I do. The How I do you front do... pour? I used to do back pour. I'm just asking. <laughs> I used to do back pour. What do you mean? Show us. Front pour, you do a front pour? pour? I don't know what a front do pour is. Do a front pour. Yeah, just, what do you, what do you think a front pour is? <laughs> <laughs> Down the chest. <laughs> <laughs> More surface area gets cleaned. <laughs> so like for me, that's a thing that like was so normal to me growing up and then I realized like nobody does that. And still to this day, like it's kind of, it's, it's a very deep cut. It's like most people wouldn't know what that is. So if you go in there, you might see a little cup in a Filipino house right on the toilet tank. How did you know? I have Filipino friends. Oh. Wow. She got a, she got a tablet, 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 tablet too. It's the same. I actually, for the longest time until I got to basically kindergarten, mm -hmm. I thought it was normal or everyone did this. Like they washed their ass yeah. or they took a shower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then when I, I got to elementary school and the kids were like, oh, I have to take a shit. You know, like, you know, we're five years old. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you can't shower. Like, there's no cup. <laughs> oh, like, it's like so nasty. Like, you're you're like, fucked. Bro. It was like one of the most anxiety driven <laughs> events of my life. Because I was like, wait, 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 wait. What are you going to do? Like, what? But there's no cup. You're going to poop no at school? Like, you're going to take a shit at school? <laughs> Period. And there's, like, no, there's, no, there's no there's no second activity. I'm yeah. like five years old. And I'm like, I go home. And I'm like, mom, you'll never, you'll never guess. What, <laughs> what, what would you do if you had yeah. to go? You would just I didn't go. I, I would wait till I got home. Dude, this was too. this is like trauma for me. <laughs> yeah. I up until high school, I would have my mom call in the school and be like, he's gotta come home, he's sick. <laughs> and she would call in, my middle school is walkable from my home. Oh. Just I'd so walk. you could shit? Yeah, I would walk home and take shit. I'd be like, forget this. <laughs> That's a dope That's a dope mom, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a also, great But I would go back to school. I would go back to school. Oh, yeah. I see. So she just How did you hold it for so long? I would have shit my pants. Dude, it's the fear the fear of, of shitting in yeah, public fear. overrides. Yeah, the, fear, uh, the fear does does a lot yeah. of crazy things it's to people. Stronger than biology? <laughs> it puts it down for yeah. It is for me. Well, we just went to the nurses. They always had the doors that you could close. Oh, that's and crazy. toilet paper. Because when I'm driving and I feel bubble guts, I am ready to just pull over and just Me spread too. my butt cheeks and just lay it on the asphalt. Yeah, and I don't even sorry. give a Whoa, fuck. Wow. So graphic. It's a military trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if someone that's saw me, everyone, no, if someone saw me, I'll just be like, dude, I'm so sorry, bro. Yeah. It just, my biology is not as strong as these guys. It's <laughs> actually kind of nice in the forest. Yeah. Yeah, because you feel the breeze under the booty. That's when I see her. But it also smells bad because there's no water to yeah, go into. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Ooh, okay. okay. Bad, Did you have any Chinese weird things growing up in the house that <laughs> most people Chinese <laughs> weird things? Um, the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> Some little chinky dicks. <laughs> yeah, chinky dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Can we change the show name? Yeah. Chinky dicks. <laughs> <laughs> weird things. <laughs> uh, the first thing that comes to mind, I think, might, that might be a deep cut, and this is like if you're like Chinese, Chinese, yeah. if you have random little mirrors or reflective <laughs> objects around your house. Oh. So like, if you don't like, um, cause Chinese is really big in feng shui and stuff, so if there's like another person's rooftop or if there's something pointy, they don't like that yeah. energy coming at your house. So what they'll do is they'll either find little mirrors or like, if you're like my mom who's just nuts, she just takes things into her own hands, she'll literally go to the store and buy a shiny wok and hang the wok 
<laughs> the other way That's on the roof. She has to reflect. Just yeah. reflect. Well, maybe because she no wants to do extra energy. power. Because the walk is like a. She's burning like hands across the street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I'm gonna set these guys' yeah. house on fire, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my mom will like take whatever's <laughs> cultural yeah. and then she'll right like zoom kitchen. it out. Yeah. So she's our like, house. this little mirror ain't gonna do shit. Yeah. She goes, but this walk is like a half pipe. You fucking send <laughs> yeah. it. It's refracting the light. It bounces 15 times. And then one one time, my mom, we we're at like Home Depot or something, and then you know how they have those like mirrors, like if you're driving through like a parking garage to show you what's on the other side of the bend, so both drivers can see each other. Uh -huh. She's like, yeah. aha! <laughs> she, she equates that That's as so a, she was like my secret weapon. Yeah. Her house. She's like, I don't have to hang walks anymore. Oh, this is I'm way gonna just better. hang those fucking Ben mirror things in the parking garage on the house. That's hilarious. Yeah. Do you guys have that at your house? No, not like that. We'd have like small ones. Like it would be more the regular. Subtle. Yeah, yeah, like it would be a little more subtle. It wasn't like like you know, there'd be talks about how the house has to be a certain way because you know we don't want your like I would move my bed sometimes in my, my room. And they'd be like, no, you can't sleep by the window. And I'd be like, what are you talking about? They're like, fucking, no, oh, it's a bad feng shui. And my dad doesn't, like, I feel like my dad doesn't really believe it. And they just make shit up too. But he just is like, no, you can't fucking sleep there. You can't sleep by the fucking window. He would just say things like that. My mom would do that to me. But it wasn't like anything too crazy. Like, definitely the things about like sharp objects. Like, if there was like a wooden board that was pointing to like my grandma's house, they would have to put a mirror there. Pointing to your grandma's house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's like, usually there was a bow and arrow. <laughs> 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 I remember that was like one yeah. one thing that they would argue about like uh, I forget like I forgot what it was but it's just like little things like that but nothing too great I feel like by the time my parents had me uh -huh. they were just like just trying to get through the day to day they weren't life got <laughs> fucked up yeah. well you even like yeah I don't know <laughs> yeah. do you have Singaporean deep cuts nah that's the hard thing too is because my mom is so like. Americanized? She, well, not even American. She's definitely not Americanized, but she's just, uh, she has no one to share that with out here. So it kind of almost lives on an island. Like when she goes back home, you start to see all the Singapore shit. Like, <laughs> we should bring all of her moms here and just have them argue with each other. Yeah, but like <laughs> out here, it was just, you know. I see my mom just coming with the mirror. stands out. She's going to be blinding everyone. Don't look at me! <laughs> Are there Japanese things that you guys had? I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, what were things I was embarrassed about? Or and stuff that you didn't notice, where, well, like, or, when you yeah. finally left the house, you were like, oh, that's not in your house? Nah, it's pretty... You guys boring, are pretty American? Dude. I think so. Like, even in Japan, they don't... I think a lot of them quit doing the old shit, you know? What about things that are used for something else. You know like a lot of immigrants, they'll use like the butter container now is now Tupperware. Oh, yeah. Is there like uh, other- Yeah, the fucking shortbread cookie thing. Oh, yeah. that's, yeah, that's everyone. That's right. There's yeah. never cookies everyone. in there, dude. Yeah. Jesus, there's never cookies it's in that cookie tin. I think that. ever. It's like a sewing kit. Yeah, it's, it's like whatever, like anything but that. I think now it's normalized, but a bidet. Like the Japanese style bidets. Those were- You really had that growing up? No, no, but I've seen it at other people's homes oh. all the time, and I didn't have one, but yeah, to be like super rich. That yeah. was like having a Mercedes. Yeah, it was you know? like a yeah, it was like shoes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. want your Lexus or the bidet? Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what's another thing I didn't realize wasn't in a lot of houses, um, was the rice dispenser. Oh, yeah. Oh, Did yeah. you have rice that? Rice dispenser? What do you yeah. mean? So, like, but I've you know, seen it. You, you load it up, and then... Yeah. yeah. Some Asian houses, like we had it, was a, a rice version of that. Where but it wasn't, it wasn't the rice cooker. No, it's not the cooker. So it's you would big move the rice cooker, because we all have rice cookers. You would move the rice from the rice cooker to the rice dispenser. Yeah, you grab and it would the, keep it warm. You grab the pot from the rice cooker. Oh, it's uncooked. You go, yeah, it's uncooked. Oh, uncooked. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You okay, go okay, to the yeah, dispenser yeah. and you yeah, get yeah, yeah, one, yeah. two, or three for yeah, how much yeah. you want. It'll two cups, two cups. come into the cooker. Yes. You put the cooker yeah, back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. No, mine was just, we just kept it in the rice bag. It came yeah. and, and yeah. then you just wow. scoop it out. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I remember having to empty those bags into the cooker Whoa. as a chore. Yeah. Uh, not the cooker, the Same. dispenser. The dispenser. <laughs> yeah. It's so my weird. My job was to go grab like the giant burlap sack of rice because <laughs> it's the like Buddha rice. It wasn't. It wasn't. You know, like the small <laughs> bag of rice that you get from the grocery store. It was like one of the. the oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like let's go. Those things like, are heavy. heavy. Bro, yeah. Yeah. They're heavy. Yeah. Those are really heavy. I don't know. Dude, I just thought of what I used to do and I could I can't believe that I did that. So you know at the supermarkets, like let's say you go to 99 Rand, or maybe not like that anymore, but like the more ghetto ones, but they'll have like all the rice stacked in the front yeah. of the supermarket. And it would be like maybe eye level. And I remember while my mom's checking out, 
I would just run on the rice going back and forth. And I just remember, I was, and that was so normal to me then, that now when I was thinking about like, oh, what the fuck? Imagine like a seven year old just jumping and flying around on top. You were just contaminating <laughs> all the rice. Someone is going, the most Asian thing I ever saw. Back to back to back to back. That's fucking crazy. There's Bart running on top. Fucking Jackie Chan over here. You did. <laughs> but he was seven years old. Yeah. Your mom wasn't yelling at you to stop? No one yelled at you? I don't think so. <laughs> The workers? Mini Jackie Chan right here. Yeah. I remember doing it like every time. <laughs> got very agile running on bags of rice. He was really good at it. The fact that she was never like, don't um, do that next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one thing that I always got yelled at to go off the bidet uh -huh. thing and the, the cup, because I'm left-handed. So in India, especially when I'd go and visit, I would just reach for stuff or we're eating with our hands. I'm eating with my left oh, hand. Isn't that... Everyone thinks that I'm fucking a psychopath <laughs> because they think I've been washing my ass yeah. and eating with the same hand. And what was fascinating to me at that age was like, oh. do people forget that I have my second hand? Like, right? Wait, yeah. so explain that. Because... So yeah, so like if we went to temple, right, and they're giving us holy water or whatever, yeah. it's tradition to keep your right hand on top of your left hand. There might be some significant and reason, that's... and I don't know, but I was constantly always yelled at by everybody because I'd have my left hand on top of my right just to get the water. They're like, wrong hand! They'd be like, switch hands, switch hands. And like the priest, I remember, the Hindu priest wouldn't like, give me the water. And were you confused? I was just like, huh? <laughs> like what? He doesn't want to give it to me? And my mom would be like. <laughs> so what's the, what's the story behind like, most Indian guys use their left hand to wash their ass? Yeah, to clean yourself. But it's always your left hand. Yeah, basically. Oh. I mean, now it's probably no It's because you eat with the right. And yeah, you, you eat with your right and you wash with That's your left. Funny, yeah. To keep it hygienic yes. or whatever. So yeah. even if you were to shake somebody's hand with your left, they would just be like, the fuck? Bro? Yeah, but I mean, even wow. now, I mean, I never shake anyone's hand with my left hand. Oh, so you just like learn to well because it almost everyone's right-handed. Uh, like ninety-nine percent of the time, they're gonna hand. So no face touching with the left hand. Absolutely not. Just you. <laughs> <laughs> That's your clean hand. Just, wow. <laughs> I'm on the right side. You never oh, do it yeah. like this. When they come and reach, you go like this. <laughs> that would be the worst so impression. <laughs> They'd be like, "What? Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for casting me on this film. <laughs> I'm gonna try that on the next one." <laughs> I do that sometimes. Is that what you used to do at your rap battles? You come in, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to your opponent. Yeah, to your. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't know that that was a. That's the thing that everyone's like. Oh, Indian people use their left hand only. I mean, that for, was. I, I would assume that's changed now. For there's booty cleansing. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> Another deep cut one. I. I don't know if this is that deep, but. I feel like every like Chinese household had some sort of like mint oil thing in their medicine cabinet. And it's like used for everything. It's like oh okay. yes, yeah, we like got this. kind of menthol. -y. It's kind of like a tiger yeah, balm. Yeah. Tiger balm. We've got one too. Or you put like your yeah. nose to clear your nose. Like a Vicks kind of yeah, deal. You put yeah. on your chest. Yeah. You're like oh, oh, I could breathe better. And I feel like there's always one that's there that's been there what for like it? 20 years, and then like the labels fucking yeah. about to melt off. What's the brand called? I don't even remember. But the label's gone. Because <laughs> my mom to this day, who's a doctor, will be like. It's called Zindothel Smith. What? It's from her city, yeah. You guys can look it up. I don't know how to spell it. Zindothel Smith, but it's basically what you're, what you're saying. Headache, what? stomach ache. It's for everything. Toothache, whatever. Your toe hurts. And she stands by this being. She'll be thing. like, you need to use this. <laughs> wow. She'll be like, just, just use this. What if that was the actual cure? And then Big Pharma's like, dude, we're, we're, not, making, we're not making any money. <laughs> yeah. That thing cures too many things. <laughs> we need to diversify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too potent. It's too potent. <laughs> we gotta get some of this stuff. Yeah, this yeah. thing solves everything. Is there, any, is there any oxy in that? <laughs> we need more oxy. Advil, Tylenol. Zendothel Smith, sponsor us. Zendothel Smith? Zendothel Smith. I have no idea. We gotta get some. See if we can get some of my That is a crazy thing. Zendothel Smith. Did you guys grow up um, eating charcoal balls when your stomach hurts? No. It's like. Small BB sized Ew. charcoals. But is that I just the, think Asian people? That's not supposed to make you grow up. Is it? <laughs> Let's eat weird shit. No, it's. <laughs> well, I mean, oh technically, God. Pepto is just charcoal, isn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be good for your yeah. stomach, right? Pepto is charcoal. It's, uh, the whole what is it called? <laughs> Milk of magnesia. What is it called? How do you spell Zendothel? That's what I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look <laughs> I think it, that might be a thing you should just ask Siri what it's spelled like. We used to have this bottle, and it had like a trumpet on the, on the okay. tag, uh -huh. and it's just a ton of. Balls, black charcoal Imagine balls. It's, it's four cleaning trumpets. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I pronounced the whole fucking word. Okay. I have, <laughs> you're just like. 
How do you spell it? It's 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 Zinda Tilsmart. I don't know. I gotta ask my mom. Zintilsmart. But when my mom says it, it just sounds oh. like Zindatil Smith. But it was probably <laughs> it probably it's like that though. It's this spell it out. It's in the Tillisman. You Tillisman. You can buy it on Amazon. Bro, you can buy anything on Amazon, bro. They got oh, you can get on Amazon. Bro, they got the OG one. Bro. Wait, do you think all Indian people say it as in Doctor Smith? No, there's blackface on the label, dude. Dude, check it out. No, no, no. This is wild. Oh, there is. <laughs> Zinda Tilsmath. Zinda Tilsmath is a unani herbal unani Why herbal medicine unani? used for treating many common ailments like cold, cough, throat pain, body pain, There's stomach like disorders, ear it. pain, tooth pain, and many Zinda more products. Tilsmath. Tilsmath. Yeah, is that yeah. you? You? That's what you grew up on? No, no, no. But I feel like every culture probably has. Yeah, everyone version. has their. It's probably the way. same thing. Ours had a tiger on it. Or okay, so Zinda now I know why it was. It's based in the, my mom's home city. Oh, that's why she's which is uh, Hyderabad. Oh, what an interesting thing! I've never seen this in my life. Mm -mm. Herbal bread. We gotta try this. Out. This is this is. Everyone, I'm very curious about it, this. Rub it on your body. Yeah. It, it feels honestly like Thai, like Thai oil. Kind uh, of. Yeah, everyone got their own version of Thai oil. Bro. Yeah, that's true. The heat makes you feel good. What about you, Colleen? Was there anything weird that you? I saw mean, aside in other from houses? like. The three peacocks living in my backyard. <laughs> I mean, I think that's pretty, pretty unique. The, the peacocks were a cultural thing. Yeah, they're a cultural thing. <laughs> no, I don't know about any cultural thing, but uniqueness. Yeah, I would say the peacocks. I grew up in a, my dad's library. I didn't have a normal bedroom. It was his. He just had a library oh. of books. Yeah. Your room was his library. Yeah. But was it like a Beauty and the Beast library? <laughs> yeah. Like a, a one by one. There was no, three books was in the library. library. One by one. No, no, there is. Floor to ceiling, every single wall filled with different types of books. Oh, that's wow, amazing. that's sick. But did it have the wood cabinets, or was yeah. it just yeah, like wood. IKEA shelves? No, no, no. It was like old. Oh, wood. that's sick. It was like oh, a, a growing up. It wasn't sick. Well, Looking man. back, and I'm like, yeah, growing up, I'm like, this is not a cool bedroom out. <laughs> <laughs> You're cock blocking me, Dad. Sorry, I can't bring my friends. You're like, here. I wanted a My Little Pony, and I'm in yeah. this fucking boring library. Yeah. She's like, oh god, it is. Yeah. how many times can I read Grapes of Wrath? And then I had a, a high-powered telescope in my room too. That's tight. Wow. So, and the books were like anything from like <laughs> science to martial arts to guns to. You're like in a nerd's like, fucking paradise bedroom, yeah. and you're like taking it for granted. You were like, I had a telescope, all these books, yeah. wood cabinets. <laughs> that was my bedroom. Have you ever tried like moving one of the books? See if the books I books. did. I would actually, as a kid, I would hide stuff in the books. Oh, oh shit. Nice. Yeah. But then I forgot. Oh, like, which right? book? Like, what was your favorite book to hide stuff in? Uh, was, did you have like a specific book or genre? Yeah, it was mostly like anything to do with space. Oh, that's a good one. Any any astronomy, space, science books. You know no one's opening that shit. A lot of the gun books too. Mm. No one's opening it. No one's opening the gun book. You already saw the gun once. Why you gotta yeah. see it again? <laughs> Like on mechanics, how to build them, how to take them apart. Like wow, your dad really was into everything. Huh? Really was into everything. What about the telescope? Would he look through that daily? Yeah. So to the like neighbor's my, house. The, the <laughs> library had a attached to balcony to it. Oh. And so we would take the telescope out onto the balcony. Oh. And as kids, he would show us different Stars. planets and stuff. That's, That's pretty fun. dope. That's really cool. Your dad sounds like someone who had so many hobbies that it spilled into every room of the house. It did. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun guy. Yeah, because didn't you say he used to collect a lot of stuff too? Collect stuff. He World used to be collector. like a, a cultural dancer, travel. He was like the first laser disc store owner and what the creator. And laser disc store owner. Yeah, I had like Michael. Do you have so do you have, a, do you have a quite a collection of laser disc and yeah, DVDs and? My dad passed away. We sold the house. We pretty much sold a bulk. Liquidated. Yeah, liquidated a ton of stuff. Yeah. Wow. It made somebody pretty happy. People collect yeah. that. Yeah. Shit. One dude came by and took probably like thousands of them. Amazing. Holy They're in good hands. Moly. My dad was like one of the people who would like buy multiples, so he would have like Doubles, three triples. sealed yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Amazing. Dude. Yeah, I remember, didn't he have like a Thunderbird? Yeah, we, we customized a Thunderbird. We had two. Yeah. He does like buying doubles, huh? Yeah, doubles of everything. Yeah, two Thunderbirds. I wonder if that's an OCD <laughs> thing. Like two Thunderbirds? Get, He's like, when I really like something, I get multiple. Yeah, he did that with his truck. Dude, I got two of the same truck. I got two of the same 
pistols that Do I like. Same. Do, do the same. Do the same. I also. Do, do you have a rap song about that? I two are the same. Two, same. two, two ho same. He's got two yeah. hoes. Yeah. You saw that picture? Bring up that picture again. You're like, <laughs> you're like <laughs> why is this track repeating? Oh, wait, never mind. He's got two of them. It's called <laughs> Two is Better Than One. Yeah. <laughs> like they're the same person. It's better to buy multiple chargers than to always forget them. So I have a charger everywhere I'm at. Wait, you have a you have a charger because of what? I always lose them. So if you have them in every room of your house yeah, in your pockets. Tesh said he wanted to point out that here you have two two. Yeah. <laughs> two <it is. laughs> I was just like there was a trend. Yeah. There was a, it was you were consistent, bro. Two's better than one. Yeah. It's in your blood. <laughs> That's how we operate, dude. <laughs> Look at the memories. Yeah. They're flashing through his eyes. Look at the, look at the just we keep putting him in the time machine. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to travel.